Jasmine Grace Marino is a sex trafficking survivor. It took years of courage, faith and determination to find a way out. Today, Jasmine speaks with numerous communities about the truth of the world of sex trafficking in her personal experiences with the help of her book, The Diary of Jasmine Grace. The Needham community heard her story September 28th. I'm going to be talking about my story as a survivor of the commercial sex trade. I was sex trafficked for five years and that journey and my recovery and what it's been like for the 10 years that I've been out of it. I share in a, out of a place that's out of healing and it's more of a storytelling. Um, at this part and journey of my life, it's the book is written. Um, and I'm here to share, to inspire, to encourage. And mostly my heart and my passion is really to help other women that are still in that life, to know that there's hope and there's a better way. But also a lot of women that come to these events know somebody or them themselves have been trafficked. And then all of a sudden like the light goes on and they say, oh my gosh, that's very similar to my own story. So that's really major when that happens. To identify and assist a trafficking victim is definitely two separate things. Um, because it depends on the situation for you to really be able to assist. You don't want to put your own self in danger. Um, but if you definitely, if it's a close friend or someone you personally know, I would definitely offer them the support and help by giving them resource phone numbers and websites to reach out to. You can always put a tip in the National Human Trafficking Resource Center line. If you see a business or something that's in your community that you know is shady, that something's going on, that it's open till maybe 10 or 11 o'clock at night and the shades are always drawn or men are the only people that go in. I mean, and women really never coming out. So you can always put a tip in, an anonymous tip to the Human Trafficking Resource Center hotline. That's a really good way. But to also um, offer how do you spot, spot the red flags with someone? That's huge too because there's tons of red flags. It's, it's based on people's vulnerabilities. So you know you have people in the community that are really extremely vulnerable and then you have people in the community that aren't so much vulnerable but can still be victims of trafficking. And when you're talking about labor trafficking there's different signs than compared to sex trafficking. So for me my story of sex trafficking I would say the signs would be disappearing for days. Um, my story was never really consistent. Um, the guy that I started to date played the boyfriend role and he was only a little bit older than me, not a lot older than me, but that can vary. It doesn't have to be a man that's a trafficker, it can be a woman as well. Sometimes there's drugs involved, sometimes there's not. Um, I would just say start to educate yourself and do research online. There's lots of great websites. Um, again, the, the Human Trafficking Resource Center is a great place to go and you can find out all types of good information on there and get yourself educated. My book was released in January because January is National Human Trafficking Awareness Month and so it was released then. It's available on Amazon. The, um, the title is called The Diary of Jasmine Grace. So it's actually my old diary entries from when I was being trafficked with present day reflections to show the difference of who I am today compared to who I was then. Because a lot of people don't understand trafficking, they think, why did she stay? Why didn't she just leave? And through these journal entries and, and through this book, you really get to see the mental torment that I was in, that I wasn't like handcuffed to a radiator, but I was in mo mental and emotional bondage for those years. This issue is a community response, right? It doesn't happen in a vacuum, and so we need everybody's assistance to help end this or prevent it because it, it's just so wide and it's so big that um, I think reading this book really opens people's eyes that never experienced it and then women that have experienced it, it opens up their lives to a lot more healing and that shame is gone because they realize, oh, I'm not the only one.